my student. Today we shall continue with the chapter 10 that about the light and sound. That is known that in my last class that already I discussed that so many things on this chapter that about the what is light, what are the different types of light and also how the shadow could be formed or what are the traditions we needed to formation of the shadow and the rotation, evolution, so many things. Now today I have discussed about the lunar eclipse. Then what is the lunar eclipse? Now we read about the last day that what is eclipse? What is the eclipse? That when sun, moon and earth they come into a straight line. That time between the two heavenly bodies either earth either moon because sun doesn't change in position. Sun always can remain in its own position. So when the sun and moon between them, the one heavenly body, they cast their shadow on the other heavenly body. And this phenomena, it's known that is about the eclipse. Now the eclipse is the two types. What are the two types? First is about the solar eclipse and second is about the lunar eclipse. Now in my previous class that I already discussed about the solar eclipse. Now today I am going to discuss about the lunar eclipse. Then what is the lunar eclipse? Now first you see here the one diagram I mean draw. You see here is the this one is the sun. Okay. Now in the center this one is the earth. And the third one is the about the Okay, now, now see, so when the sun, earth and moon, they come in a exact in a straight line, it's, although it's not coming in a straight line, but it should be in a straight line, okay, it should be in a straight line, this one sun and earth and moon, when they will come in a straight line, that is what happened, those are the light that are supposed to fall over the moon surface, it will prevent them, or it will obstruct by through the earth. And the earth does not allow the light to pass through over the moon surface. And this phenomena is known by the name of lunar eclipse. Again I repeat that when the sun, earth and moon, they come into exactly a straight line. That time the earth obstructs the total sunlight, absorbs the total sunlight and it not allowed to fall over the moon surface. So this phenomena is known by the name of lunar eclipse. You understand that? This is known as the lunar eclipse. Now the lunar eclipse is also divided into the two parts. What is the two part? That is the first one, total lunar eclipse, and the second one is the partial lunar eclipse. So what is the total lunar eclipse? When the sun, earth and moon, they come exactly in a straight line, that time the earth they allow, it does not allow the little amount of sunlight also to fall over the moon surface. They totally obstruct the sunlight and they absorb it, it does not pass through to allow the moon surface and completely it will absorb. This portion of this phenomena is known as the total lunar eclipse. Now what is the partial lunar eclipse? That when the earth, sun, earth and moon, they come not exact in a straight line not exact in a straight line that time the little amount of the sun rays little amount of sun rays that pass through over the moon surface this phenomena is known by the name of partial lunar eclipse okay now see in your books that lunar eclipse occur when the earth come between the sun and moon then when this occurs when the earth is coming middle between the sun and moon the earth block the sunlight reaching to the moon. That earth absorbs the total sunlight. It does not allow to fall over the moon's surface. And thereby casting its shadow on it and the earth casts its shadow over the moon's surface. And when it covers the moon only partially, it is called the partial lunar eclipse and the total lunar eclipse that already I discussed. Now we have one more thing you have to learn. Then what is the umbra and penumbra? What is the umbra? It's not in your book, but you have to know for your further information that. What is the umbra? When the light are completely absorbed or totally obstructed, then the blackest portion or the darkest portion in the shadow that is called the umbra. And the partially, when the partially dark or the light dark portion is known by the name of penumbra. Okay? 
So I hope you have to understand these all the things that about the what is the solar eclipse, what is the lunar eclipse, and about their features, so many things. So next day I will discuss some some those are the questions, some inside questions from it. Okay, so I hope that it will be clear for you also. And then also if you have any clarification, any doubts, you can ask me in your live class.